from Forex Traders Daily. This is your daily analysis with Ross Mullins, live from Richmond, Virginia. Hello, everyone. This is today's video analysis for March 15, 2017. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the USD CHF, the US dollar versus the Swiss franc for today's trade analysis. But first, before I begin our analysis, it's important for me to mention the fact that we have a slew of U.S. data happening today. 8.30 a.m. Eastern U.S. time, about 30 minutes from the recording of this video. We have CPI and retail sales data coming out for the U.S. And then, of course, the much-anticipated FOMC, the Fed uh, uh, funds rate coming up at 2 p.m. Eastern U.S. time today in the press conference. So a slew of U.S. news could change just about everything we're talking about on every U.S. currency pair today. And, of course, over the next uh, 24, 36 hours, more news coming up tomorrow. Uh, even some news out of the S&B. So let's go ahead and just look at the technical aspects of the chart and see if we can devise some sort of strategy for this currency pair. Two different trends that we've been talking about, the downtrend, the black trend line. Basically, since the beginning of the year, 2017, we went for a, a pretty decent fall from the highs all the way up here into the 1.0300s, all the way down into uh, the 9800s. So we saw the market uh, bottom out down here at the bottom at the end of January, beginning of February, started moving back higher again during the month of February and through the, so far the month of March. A little bit of a fallback three times, really, one, two, three times along those blue trend lines uh, back towards the red trend line. Interesting enough, and let's go ahead and zoom it in one time, We've seen the last three, maybe four days, if you really, really count today's candle, uh, bottoming out just above the 100 period moving average around this red trend line in the yellow shaded area, 1.0075. 1.0060. So it's bottomed out around this area. If the market takes the rally, uh, we'll look for the break through the green zone, a challenge of the orange zone, and a new high to be made, likely in towards the 1.0200 level or higher. That would assume that we get positive CPI for the U.S., positive retail sales for the U.S., and we also get uh, the hike of interest rates that we're anticipating for the FOMC. All of that would be positive for the U.S. dollar, would be a bounce off the support, a breakthrough resistance, and a new high to be made. Uh, any of that coming out negative or not as expected may see a little bit of a dip back down towards the yellow zone or into the moving average. Man, of course, a breakdown of there is our risk on taking any long trades that we're looking at. So we have the red trend line, 100 period simple moving average, yellow shaded area, four days of support. We have the Forex black book is a green trend bar. So all of that pointing to more of a bullish bias than a bearish bias. Zoom it in one more time here. And so what we're looking for is take a black arrow in here and put uh, put it right about right there. 1.0075 is the top of the yellow zone. If we're looking to go long, that at least gives us our lowest degree of risk. Our risk is, of course, that it breaks down through that yellow shaded area and goes lower. That would all, again, assume that we get a positive dollar movement is that we look for it to hold here, challenge the green zone, which obviously is acting one, two, three days as our resistance, a break of the green zone, and we look for a new high back towards the orange zone or higher for the dollar franc. And of course, any negative movement and really any open and close breakout underneath 1.0060, the yellow shaded area, we look for a new low to be made, and that would likely be down here to the pink zone or lower underneath the parity level. That yellow line right there represents the 1.0 level or the parity level. So some interesting things here. We're basically in congestion between the green and the yellow zone now. If you're going to trade the trend, trade the uh, direction of the moving average, the Forex black book being a bullish bias, then we're looking for buys into support, the yellow zone, a break of the green zone, and a challenge of the highs here for the dollar franc. And any negative movement could see a breakdown of this area, and that's the risk. And again, your stop loss would be underneath that yellow shaded area. That way, if it does break out underneath it, you would have minimal impact to your trading account. Take it down here to the four hour time frame. Doesn't really change it. We could see so far the market's been kind of back and forth this week. We had the dip down into the yellow zone, the rally, the fall, the rally, the fall. So the market's kind of trying to figure out what to do with this market this week yet so far as well. We did have an opportunity to see a little bit of a profitable trade earlier on this week. We took the buy down here into the 0070 level. We saw a good profit profit up to the green zone, came down, took us out of break even, went back up, came back down. So all of that 
would imply that we're still looking for an opportunity and a breakout here for the dollar franc. So what I'm looking for today is any dip to the yellow zone could be produce an opportunity to go long with fairly minimal risk targets the green zone and higher and that again will watch for positive U.S. news for the U.S. Uh, for that type of price action for the dollar franc today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.